On the issue of the border and immigration, Obama at this point has simply said to Republicans, you got it. You win, I'm bowing down, I'll do exactly what you want, I will do whatever it is you want. And unfortunately, this is a theme that we've seen all too often from Obama and the Democrats. But on this issue specifically, it's particularly egregious because of the details of just how he's capitulating to the Republicans. So, of course, as we've covered thoroughly, there are thousands of child refugees crossing the southern border, coming into the country uh, because of a terrible, terrible situation right now in Central America. Most of them are coming from Central America. The drug war has now made that region of the world almost impossible to live. Okay, you just simply, it's, it's next to impossible to live in a place like that and expect to have some sort of a peaceful upbringing and a peaceful life. I mean, Vox did a great story on this. We reported on this that, it, did you know, it, the violence in the Central American countries where these kids are coming from, it's actually worse there than it was in Iraq at the height of the Iraq war. That fact is so stunning to me every time I hear it. And then you understand, well, oh, I get it. They feel like they have no choice and they have to come here. It's like, well, I either die here within a few years and live a horrendous life, or, you know, the parents take basically toddlers and young kids and they just put them on a train and they say, look, you're going to go to America whether or not you like it because I want you to have a better life than me. So naturally, because it's people trying to do right by their kids, the Republicans hate it. They can't stand it. They want to kick these people out of the country. And like I said before, Obama has been leaning in that direction now. And of course, the Republicans are so strong in their critique and their attack and they harp away that Obama's like, all right, all right, you get it. We'll do whatever you want. Uh, however you want to uh, attack this situation, we're on board with you. So what have they done in terms of funding? What have they done in terms of actually attacking the problem. Well, uh, the Senate Democrats proposed a $2.7 billion package uh, in order to deal with this crisis that the Republicans shot down. Now, why they would shut that down, I don't know. Most of the money of that $2.7 billion, most of it is going towards border protection. And the Republicans said, no, no, uh, we don't want that. Uh, okay, well, then Obama came along and said, well, how about $3.7 billion? So they upped it. The Republicans said, uh, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. We don't want that. So remember, in this $3.7 billion that Obama is proposing to take care of the border, it would speed up deportation proceedings and attempt to deter illegal immigration further. And again, it increases border security. Republicans shot that down. So the House GOP steps in and they say, well, uh, how about a $1.5 billion bill? And the Democrats are like, wait, 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 wait. You guys have all been screaming about border security and protection and you're screaming that we need to re really tackle the problem and throw money at it and, and the more the better, right, to really make sure that we get this problem taken care of and you reject a $2.7 billion package, and you reject a $3.7 billion package, but then you turn around and say, well, let's do $1.5 billion, so you're going less. What happened? I thought you guys were the, the conservative Republicans. I thought you're the ones that care deeply about all oh, border security, and let's make sure to arm everybody and put the National Guard and Border Patrol and the military and this and that, and like Bill O'Reilly said, build a fucking new Berlin Wall. What happened? You're going lower than the Democrats are? It seems like the parties switched in this respect. Well, you know what happened this week? The Republicans came out again and said, yeah, did we say $1.5 billion? Uh, how about $659 million? So we went from a $3.7 billion high proposed by the Democratic president to totally take care of the border, totally increase security, lock up that border tight, and then the Republicans come along and go all the way down to 659 million. Well, now we are officially living in the twilight zone. So, why are they doing that? Well, the devil's in the details. 
as always. What they're doing is they want to purposely underfund it, and they want to purposely not commit to a tremendous amount of border security. This way, the problem keeps up, and they can continue to blame Obama for it. And they go, oh my god, there are more thousands more kids crossed the border within the past month, and here we have a president who's sitting on his ass, he's not doing anything, why don't you do something, Mr. President? Why aren't you doing the right thing? And what they're doing is riling up their base, so that their base gets out in the midterm elections, and goes, yeah, I gotta vote against that Obama, because that Obama, he, he lead the border wide open, he don't want to protect it none, and these Republicans gonna protect it, even though the Republicans try to give a lower number, and Obama actually wanted to fund this secure the border even more money, but I don't know that because I'm a Republican. <laughs> How big of a joke is this Republican Party? They're a joke. Look, it's the same theme over and over. The Democrats end up proposing what the original Republican plans are, and then the Republicans go, oh, we hate that plan, and we're going to blame you when we don't enact it. 